morning everybody monday morning and it's that kind of uh flat london day um i had a nice weekend i saw my um new nephew this weekend my adorable um, niece pookie had a baby and so that makes me a great aunt god almighty but um but that was the kind of highlight lila is here this weekend i'm going to go off this afternoon with her to get a warm jacket any ideas apart from north face i would love to have um don't want to spend too much money but she obviously a 14 year old the pressure is on to her something nice she wants canadian goose and i said absolutely forget it and uh north pole uh north pole yes is the one i'm thinking about but i love ideas ladies at home who've got kids Give me your ideas. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Marion. Good morning, Harrier. Good morning, Reco. I'm gonna start off today. I've got, I've just worked out. I did my 8 a.m. training at Lomax with the team, and then I went off to have Julian's remodelage, which is working well. I am, so, it's so helping the kind of fluid retention on my knee and everything else. Good morning, Lila. Hello, you're at the Ciro Cafe. My daughter's gone with this fantastic place, Ciro Cafe. She loves it. When she first asked me, can I go to Ciro Cafe? I was like, you are not going to a cafe for serial killers, but it's actually where they have cereal. <laughs> All different cereals. So if you don't live in London and you've got a, a daughter of sort of 10 to 15, she'd probably love it. There's one in Covent Garden and one in the East End. And it's just every cereal, every milk. It's a it's the most hyperactive place to take any child. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Alison. Good morning, Shelley. I'm going to start off day a little exfoliation and mask. Um, and um, I'm going to do Ollie Hendrickson, which is a sugar glow polishing mask. And a lovely lady called Laura, Laura um, told me about this mask. And I quite like it. It's very goopy, sticky. It smells. It's got vitamin C in it. Um, the granulation of it is quite rough, so it's not for very sensitive skins, but Olea Hendrickson is actually a lovely label, often overlooked with all these new labels that come in every few months. And I bought it in Peter Jones, but they sell in um, John Lewis Partnership. They sell lots of places. It sells online as well. Um, I like the fact that it's sort of not uh, exfoliating with rough exfoliator and being dry it's got lots of sort of honey based products in it and i can really get in there i had my um teresa tame i did my sort of um pen last week which is sounds like fraxel but it's called a fraxel pen and when she did it she said you're going to feel your skin's dry after a few days and i did feel it was a bit dry and i got that real dryness around the month and I, around the mouth and i thought oh but it does do something to texture the skin because I feel above my lip line is improving and it's my one bugbear area. You know how we all have an area we look at when we look in the mirror and we think, ah, oh, what can I do about that area? So that's mine. Um, just little notes too. I've rearranged the blog on Trini London. So um, I'm trying to really get it so it's easy for you to see all the products I recommend a lot because many of the products I use here are now easier to see on Trini London. So if you go to Trini London and click on tea time in the navigation bar, which is at the bottom on your phone and on a laptop, you just do the main, um, it's on the top uh, menu. And it's sort of done by three categories. One is secret seven. So it's, I've done exfoliators, masks, glow products, tinted moisturizers, moisturizers, um, cleansers, concealers, um, I've then if I've done eye creams, I've done lip creams. So it's not in any particular order. You have to scroll down, but they're all there. And it's just the seven products I love. Uh, I haven't done some for a few months. So if there's any product like Lixia, for example, came out, I'd probably put that in now to my um, cleansers. So I might add in a few products. They won't be in the video, but you could see them there. Um, and I think the other ones are Lazy Sunday. So Lazy Sunday, as you know, those of you who follow me on Facebook, is a very uh, free-fall product concept. So I might have a subject matter, but then you ladies will take me off to a different subject matter. So I will then go off on a tangent. But I put the general um, basis of what I'm talking about in those Lazy Sundays. And also the picture we use has all the products in it. So you can, you, can, um, you know, make that picture bigger and see if you're looking for a particular product. And then I'm going to start one called Techniques. 
I've got one in there now, which is a sort of, it was a lazy Sunday, but it focused on different techniques like my um, dermal roller. So those are in there, but I am doing this week, I will do a whole micro needling um, routine. I'm waiting for one other micro needle and then I'll do that routine this week. It might Actually, it might be this Sunday. So, um, and then the other one in there, it just things on exercise. There's a little one on my hair. I've got two or three on my hair, so we're getting those up today. One is when I do my hair from scratch. The other is when my hair's been dirty for three days and what do I do to refresh it? And the other one is a summer routine when I'm actually going for that sort of diffused, mad, big hair look. So they should all be up by the end of today, all right? Um, so I just put this on, I've been scrubbing away really making my skin red, but I just don't, you know, I like a little, a little bit of action on the face. That's the only way to describe it. And I'm needing that today, action on the face, because when you do a workout too early, um, you can kind of feel more tired afterwards. Um, and that's slightly what I'm feeling. It will go soon. Um, so Taking that off. Oh, uh, okay, great. Let me clean my face and then I'm going to do a really lovely mask and then I'll take all your questions. So, this mask I got at Sephora in Paris with Lila in September and it's from Fresh. I really like Fresh as a brand, I think they have great products, great ingredients. And I had done a very inexpensive version from um, L'Oreal, a day cream last week, which had black tea in it. But I'm going to actually do this mask here. It's an age delay cream. Oh, wait, that's the cream. Hang on, I want to do the mask. That's the cream. One second, getting lost here. Oh, there's the cream. Okay, I'm going to do the mask first. Let's see if I have the mask. I'm so set to do that. Oh, no, I'm going to do this. Oh, yes. This is a routine I want to do. I'm going to do, next up, I'm really going for it on my face, Josh Rosebrook. It's back to fun time, I'm afraid. It's Active Enzyme Exfoliator. And I like a little bit of morning enzyme routine. I usually do, an, you know, an enzyme is gonna sort of slightly eat away at the skin, take away the dead skin cells. And I would compare this mask, there's another mask like it, which smells even worse, which is my Biologique Recharge mask, which is that brown one I always say smells like poo. But this is active enzyme. There's a bit of seaweed in here few other ingredients and I'm just going to put that on like that and leave it on. I do love this actually, I forgot how much I loved it. Uh, Josh was a, st a stylist and then he got really into natural skincare and he's brought out about five products and they're very, very natural ingredients um, and they really work. And then I'm going to end up with his advanced hydration, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal product. So I put that on for about 10 minutes. You can put it on and then add some water if it's a little bit dry and mush it in more like that so it just becomes granular. It's not the same as early at Hendrickson because this is actually going in and actively sort of eating away at a few dead skin cells whereas the granular exfoliation just kind of, you know, exfoliates your skin. So it works two different ways. With my skin, I can do these one after the other. If you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't necessarily consider that. Sorry, I haven't I haven't even tucked my shirt in this morning. Okay, ladies, let me just, hello. Um, where's my partner? Um, my partner, my partner, I think you mean, I don't know who you mean. Morning at work, but having a sneaky peek at your video. Oh, lovely. Good morning, Joanna. Columbia do great children's reign. Thank you, I will look. Flawed from the inside, hello. Best skincare routine for pregnancy. When I was pregnant, I used natural products and I think it was because the skin is our biggest organ, so everything going on your face is going to really penetrate and then one feels very protective over that baby. So Dr. Hauschka is a range I love. It's the original organic range. You can get it in, I think M&S do Dr. Hauschka now, but they have a wonderful, two different cleansers. They have a cleansing cream and they have a cleansing kind of paste, which is wonderful for more combination skin. They have a wonderful three different day creams. One of them is an oil. One of them is a quince day cream. Um, and they have something called, um, it's called night, night something. Let me see if I've got it here. Yes. And this I really liked as a simple thing at nighttime, review, renewing nighttime conditioner. And I think when you're pregnant, your skin goes up and down because your hormones are going mad. So you just need 
very, I love very gentle things. Bit of exfoliation if you want, but your skin might be a bit more sensitive from that. So that's what I would say, darling. Ah, uh, good morning, Lydia. Good morning, Lila. Hello, darling. Marion, say hello. Helena, good morning. One Tree Pub, good morning, Australia. Um, I think that um, you've just all gone back on holiday. My brother's kids just went back to school, I think, today. I have a great Parker from Abercrombie. Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Patagonia. That's a very good idea too. Lila, I hope you're watching this. Can you please write them down if you are? Um, Zom Zondabeski, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm loving my BFF vanity. Thank you. It is just, we're very, we love the BFF. All of my stacks today. Yes, they can't wait for it to arrive. Alison, yes. Very happy for you. Um, Style, good morning. Cheryl, good morning. Louisa, good morning. I love you, Sits or Not. Thank you very much. Um, uh, do I like Dr. Hauschka products? Yes, I do, Sarah. I just spoke about them. I love them. I use them for so many years and I still have them in my routine. And in fact, I was really missing. They have a day hydration lotion and it's yellow and I can't remember the name of it, but it's wonderful balancing moisturizer for the day and both dry skin and oily skin can use it. It just, it doesn't leave this film on your face and it's one of my favorite products from them. Ollie Hendrickson sauna scrub, I have not Mario and Mari and I will try it. Um, love the stack products, thank you. Um, what exfoliator is it? This is Ollie Hendrickson here, um, sugar salt scrub. And now I've gone on to, sorry, I've made that very dirty. I've gone on to the Active Enzyme Exfoliator from Josh Rosebrook, which is great. Um, yes, I tell you, the exercise program I'm doing is really working for me and I'm just feeling my body is slightly changing shape. I don't want to lose a tremendous amount of weight, but I want to feel I can, you know, I want to feel I can not do the splits, but I, that I'm fluid and a little more toned. And I think once you begin to see that change, and as we get older, it takes, it bloody well takes longer. I could do two weeks before and I'd suddenly see a change. And now, you know, I need to do a month, but I'm nearly at the end of my month and I'm feeling it and my body feels good. When I go to Tokyo on the um, 10th of uh, February, and anyway, uh, yes, Tokyo, can I quickly ask, have any of you been there? Are there any recommendations? I'm gonna go to Tokyo for a few days. Um, I'd love, I want to go to some vintage um, um, kimono shops, but for inexpensive ones, I'm gonna to go to market, gonna to go to Kyoto for a day. Um, but anyway, any ideas if you've been? <laughs> um, living, uh, like a, living like a boss, I came for a color match last week on Friday, it was fabulous, stacks are amazing, fantastic, wonderful, very happy for you. I'm looking today at places we can expand our um, pop-up to. Um, search fanfication, my life, it's you, I know, I love you, okay. That's just, just, um, uh, what product is that? That's the one I've just said. 10% battery, but worth it for your live stream. <laughs> Mad girl. Katie applied my makeup and I bought the whole lot. Fantastic. Katie's wonderful. Um, I'm very happy you've all had a good time coming in here because we've, we've, we so enjoy. Best products for dry, itchy eyelids. I haven't come across dry, itchy eyelids before. Um, so I'd sort of, I mean, the one thing I'd say for any itchy thing is I love, and I talk about it endlessly, but Trilogy's Rosehip Oil, because it's very good for eczema, for rosacea, for irritation. So a tiny bit of that on the eyelids might be very good for you, or else a very calming balm. Um, should I put primer under or over BFF? If you need primer, I mean, I find the BFF acts as a primer. I'm gonna take this off now. So I don't use, primer as well and if you've got an oily skin um you might want to put on a bit before i put face finish on after which is a little product like that which has kind of got something in it primary but it absorbs the oil so if you use a primer to absorb oil you could consider that um so i'm just going to take this off a uh, little enzyme mask from josh there we go oh it looks feels better feel so much better my skin that's really nice. Okay, now I've done that mask, I might just go straight on to the um, black tea because I wanted to put this on to begin with. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Um, and this is fresh. There's many different um, questions you ask me about um, moisturizers and serums. And what I kind of believe is a moisturizer, which is just moisturizing, is nice, but what we really need for our skin is we need serums, we need to have a little bit of um, 
you know, dermal rolling, micro-needling, that kind of thing. And sometimes a moisturiser has got to be, for me, more than just a moisturiser. So I think what I love about this is I just feel, if I compared it, for example, to, it's, it's 20 pounds more than the Vichy or, or the L'Oreal one I used, this penetrates and it's got very nice, I'm gonna show you actually, it's mean for me to say this, but I'm just going to do it. So Age Perfect, that heavy cream from uh, L'Oreal and that, I'd rather spend the extra 20 quid and get that cream because this one sits on the top and it's very over fragranced. It's, you can tell when you smell the sort of black tea in this, you get a really authentic, real smell. And when I smell it in the L'Oreal, it feels very, um, very false to me. So I'm not gonna put the fake one on and the L'Oreal one on, but I'm just gonna tell you, I love this as hydration with a bit of antioxidant in it. It's great. So, okay, very quick today. I'm going to do a quick, I'm gonna do a very simple, I'm just gonna do this a little bit whilst I take a few more questions because I just need to lift those cheekbones. Lift those cheekbones. Um, do I use Murad products? I think they have an amazing product. One of my favorite products from Murad, actually when you talk about primers, this is a very clever product. It's called Invisible Invisible Perfecting Shield. It's SPF 50. It's a serum. It takes away shine and um, it gives you, it sort of blurs your skin. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. In fact, I'll put some on for you before I put on my BFF. But that's my favorite product from Murad. Um, I'm looking at a few more actually because they, they used to have an amazing, um, lip balm that was very hydrating, which they stopped making. I was trying to find if they still do it in a yellow tube, it was brilliant. And I want to try a few, a few other things because I was uh, in Selfridges briefly and at Lloyd's Pharmacy in Selfridges, they have Murad, oddly. It's not easy to find Murad, you know? I don't know who stocks it as a main stockist. I don't know if John Lewis do or not. I'm not sure if any of you tell me where you buy it, that'd be interesting. Hey, what is that you use on my eyebrows with a silver brush? With a silver brush on my eyebrows. Um, oh, I know what it is. I haven't got it here. It's, um, it's, um, oh, I can't remember. I've got it on last week's blog, The Insta Lies on Trini London. And I think it's the eyebrow gel um, from Livana. Yes, it is, I think it is. Okay, all right, so I've got that on. My skin is feeling awake and alive. If you could just do this every day, ladies, with anything. Um, is my makeup range good for sensitive skin? I'm being asked by Hannah. Um, plus been ordering like mad for me and my daughter after watching your vlogs. Um, I think it is. We, we are not hypoallergenic, I will just say that now, but I've had some friends who have sensitive skin, some ladies who come in and have sensitive skin, and it doesn't irritate skin. What's very important always to do is to read the ingredients, because some people actually are allergic to specific ingredients and you need to check we don't have them. If you generally just are a little red and sensitive, then I feel that our products work very well. We only have a tiny bit of fragrance in the BFF, and the lip balm, but the rest are fragrance, uh, mainly fragrance free. My shirt is an old cost shirt. It's one of my most comfortable shirts. I bought three about five years ago. I wish they still made it. Lindsay, your skin is so dry, tight and flaky. You just ordered Pose Hydrophe Serum of Aven Skin Recovery. That's good. Um, I think I always say this to ladies when they feel their skin is dry and flaky. Do consider a bit of exfoliation because those dead skin cells are partly to blame for why you feel that your skin is dry and flaky. Um, unless you are suffering from a skin condition which is causing that. But I think to get the dead skin cells off is half your battle. All right, I'm just gonna put this on now and show you this little product from Murad. I'm so glad you reminded me of it. There we go. Oh, hang on, I just gotta get it out. See, this is what is disappointing when you're live, isn't it? That it doesn't come out. You want it to come, you want it to come out and it's not coming out, so I can't show you. Let me just, nope. Oh, there's a bit, there's a bit, hang on. Ah, oh, there. Okay, so it comes out like a gel. Do you see like that? 
um, and I put it on. The smell is nothing really. It feels like it's just, it feels like a serum, but it's very good also. I use it above my lip line, blurring there, like that. And it doesn't have that tightness of a primer, but it feels like silk on your skin. It's so good, this product. I'm so happy I found it again to tell you ladies. And I'm happy for the lady who said to me, what about a Murad? Um, Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream is amazing for lips and lip lines. It's a great, it's a great, um, I'm saving the lives, don't worry, and they will be on Trini London. Yes, my shirt is from Costa. BFF Rides this morning, seriously awesome. Thank you so much. Do you prefer a manual exfoliation over chemical exfoliation? I like both. Some days I'll do chemical, some days I'll do manual. I might do a glycolic. The Ordinary has a wonderful glycolic. H-A-B-H-A, they have a, this kind of big toner. And... Um, uh, I'm going to go to New York and get the fennel one that Caroline Hirons always talks about. Huge love from Tokyo. You make me feel so happy. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Um, very nice. Norway. Best plumping face mask for tired skin. Plumping face mask for tired skin. You know what? The um, Skin 3 is brilliant. And it's the Harley Street Doctor, guys. It's fantastic. I would sort of say that. Um, has got to be my favourite. Today I'm going to do, I haven't got in my bathroom, um, my light and medium, so I'm, do, I'm doing a pump of dark and I'm doing two pumps of, of light because I'm not, I haven't got, I haven't got everything here because it always gets um, used up by other people. I'm using, oh, quite a lot this morning. I'm um, putting it over that primer um, and what's interesting you'll find is it doesn't look quite so shiny going over that primer because the primer underneath is absorbing it. So if you have very oily skin, that's a very nice solution is to use the Murad with this in conjunction. So skin is a bit more woken up from when I started, I think. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do a little um, under eye because I'm a little bit under eye tired today. Um, there. And a bit under eye there, nose as well. I'm used, I use just a touch in Trintron. Um, many ladies um, have been coming back to us with their thoughts on this product. It is something that you need so little on, you blend it in, you really need the tiniest amount. So I will literally take that and I could kind of blend this around my eyes. That's all I'd need for that side of my face. Don't ever feel you need to put too much foundation on. You wanna just cover the little bits are a little bit red and just let your the rest of your skin breathe because most people have parts of their face with glorious skin and there's little bits maybe we want to just hide but don't hide everything also great for the eyelids if you want to do a quick little bit in the corner of your eye just to bring your eyelids out like that like that like that like that like that um hello from poland hello from canada i'm up feeding my newborn and watching you oh coxie Congratulations, congratulations, darling. My niece had a baby and I went to see her last week, so divine. Hello from the Isle of Wight, hello. Lady Laura, hello. Uh, danger solution, um, hello. <laughs> um, hello, hello. You use Lush products, they're great. Where can I purchase a micro needle and what size for the first time? I would say, first time users of a micro needle, do a 0 0.2, um, 0 0.3, that's a gentle needle. And people do different amounts of needles around the barrels. And that really, some people prefer more needles because then if you have more needles, I think for a beginner more needles is quite good because you don't, won't make mistakes and scratch your skin. Some people do slightly stronger needle and fewer needles going around the outside. And I think you have to then be very careful in your technique of how you do it. I will be, I'm doing Starlight by the way now, it's a little highlighter. I will be doing the full microneedling one, I think this Sunday, because I have all my products by then, and I will take you through it in great detail and show you the ways to do it. Um, I'm going to now do a little bit of cheekbones. And when you use cheekbones, there's two shades. There's Katie and there is um, Sophia. And I think you'll just find that you just go from the edge of your hairline and you bring it down. Don't bring it too far down. Some ladies have come in to have their makeup done and they were wearing a contour to here. And if you think the natural area where your cheekbone should protrude or you want it to look like it's protruding, just should be to sort of the edge of your um, eye brow and not further in, because I think then it begins to look false. How, how we position our makeup 
is whether it looks real or not. Now today I'm going to do something that I did this weekend and I kind of love it. It's using Cha Cha, which looks like an amazingly bright colour, it is actually, on the lips like that. Okay, I'm just going to pop it in because I just, on days when you're feeling a bit flat, it's very nice to do a strong lip. But I'm going to show you how to tone it down. I take the little bit here and I just do a cheek. This is the best cheek if it fits in your match to me for that sort of flush, but a bit more than I've walked in the park look because it adds a little bit more of a sort of corally tone, but it's just a, a very alive and awake color. And I'm then gonna take Taya and I'm just gonna, which is our lip glow, and I'm gonna tone down my lip. It doesn't make it entirely nude, but it doesn't make it so scarily summery bright. Like that, there we go. You see, so it's just a very soft, pretty color. And then I'm gonna do, because I've got this kind of warmth going on, I'm going to do a little bit of fortune on my eye, like that, and just do it very easily. Most of our colors, half of our eye-to-eye -eye shades are sort of metallic and have two tones in them, like fortune and magician and empress and um, sun and star and universe and chariot and the other ones are matte and so when you do the ones that are like this you literally just need one product and your eyes are done i'm going to finish off with two things i'm going to do a little bit of brows today i'm going to use um uh the one from benefit it's a little mini one this is such a good size i love things that are totally mini and although I had my brows done last week, I have used quite a few glycolic products and that does, that does um, take off your brow color quite quickly. There we go, Get done, probably. And then I'm gonna end with a bit of mascara, very clean today, Bobbi Brown, um, nice mascara, but it has a funny wand, I'm not sure about the wand. But this is for that undone mascara look. I'm going to get my eyelashes done from EG next week again, I've had a month off of the eyelashes and I'm traveling and it's kind of easier when I travel that I don't have to bother with mascara. There we go. And I was also testing out some stuff we're doing later this year to do with that product. I'm just telling you quietly now. Okay, and I'm done. I'm gonna do hair stuff very quickly. If I've got it here, I really need to do some foam. So I'm just gonna take through foam. Let me do Last few questions, um, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Is Liverpool reasonable for it? I don't know. Adore yourself, thank you very much, darling. Have I tried the Nurse Jamie Gadgets? I did try that roller thing with the little, you know, it's a long purple thing and I kind of liked it. Um, I kind of liked it. A Master Reduced Big Pores. Um, a master reduced big pores. There are, and I need to look some up for you, darling. Um, I was going to say Pore Filler NYX is a great product. And um, also, I've got here the, the High Adherent Silico Primer. That's quite good. Um, from It Cosmetics. Then um, I'm going to show you. Oh, I have got it here, the mask. One second. Here, I've got it here. This one. I like this mask. John Masters Organics um, is a really nice natural mask for kind of taking out um, big things. It's a purifying Moroccan clay mask. I think things like that are very good. Um, and then here, Botanical Blend, I love this. Um, and it's called the London Mask. Okay, I will look more up because you do ask me a lot about things. Windows of the Soul Temple Spa Gel Balm. I will look it up. You've been to Japan. The shopping is amazing and so is the food. Make sure I try Kobe beef. How many, how many grams is, the foundation is five grams. But what's interesting, I'm just gonna show you ladies, is that the pot could last you nine months because you need so little. I mean, I go through different ones because I have quite a few drink runs around the house, but it really will last. Um, I'm going to just do my hair now. So you can see the hair's a bit flat and it's flat and it's not shiny and it feels a bit you know i had it done on friday but i didn't have i didn't i just ran out the salon i had my color done but it's you know i'm just going to show you the kind of state it's in it has no body no life um i'm just going to brush out the knots because i haven't brushed it all weekend sometimes i don't brush my hair because i think oh i'll get more volume but it is good 
It is good to brush one's hair occasionally, but you can just see there's, there's not much there, is there? It's a little bit greasy and it's a little bit flat. So I know it's like those of you have heard it before, but the bloody foam from that silly, lovely lady who I must meet one day away. I use, I probably use too much. I use that much, but I thrust it, the excess in the bath. And then I put this in my hair upside down and I put it around because now I've got flat hair. I'm going to put it through as well because it's a very good way of also giving some texture to your hair and not just taking out the oil. So I'm going to put some around this bit here, there, mush it in. It looks halfway through a bit wet. You can see. Um, so rubbing it in into my scalp, giving myself a bit of a head massage at the same time, stimulating those hair follicles. And then I'm just going to mush and mush and, mu and mush and mush and mush. It's messy this look, but I, I like it. it. Wakes me up. And then, then I have my volume back. You see, it is bloody. It's, I mean, there is no more miraculous thing. When I go to Tokyo, I will, be, I will be taking this with me in my suitcase and it might be I don't blow dry my hair for the week and I just use this. Okay, there we go. You see, I love a miracle product so much, so much. Um, do I use Kiehl's? A little bit. Mario Badescu products, yes. I've used the mask, I've used the glycolic cleanser, which I like. And I had used for a while the drying lotion, but I think you have to be careful with it. Um, that you, when you use it on spots, but I do use it in Lila, actually, I've given it to her. Um, m and Doc Murrah, thank you so much. Hello from Sunny. Hello, Lindy from Sunny Samwines. How is it? God, I'm going in March. Hello. Have I used cosmetics before? I have. I love, cosmetics is a range that, um, that a woman, Julia Hunter, used to consult for, interestingly enough, and I love their enzyme mask, and I love their rescue balm um and i love their serum 10 or something they have great products though the recipes change a tiny bit when julia hunter left but i still rate them um what's that pink king you're rubbing in all over your face that's my foreo darling it's a little machine that i use to cleanse my face with and to put in oils and lots of things and i just love the way that it massages my face awake um, hello, hello, hello. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in February at Trini Central. Yes, Nicola, I love you call it Trini Central. Um, I need to go and look at Kiehl's again and just look at some stuff because so many of you ask about Kiehl's and I just feel that um, we need to, I need to go and, and readdress my lack of love for Kiehl's and try and see what I can um, find there that I like. Because a lot of you talk about the eye cream you like and the avocado cream that you like. And I just feel I'm not... I'm not really making an effort with them. I think because they were bought by L'Oreal and I just, I don't know, I stopped liking them. Uh, Morad AHA exfoliating cleanser is fab. Please try Trini. I will, darling. Thank you so much for that info. Um, I have your BB cream on once a touch and it's changed my life. D100F, thank you very much, darling. The pink sponge is the Foreo. Um, sorry, just seeing if there's any other questions. What do I think about Avon, a new retinol two-step system? I don't know. I think retinol is something you really need to spend money on. Um, and I'd say it's literally the ordinary or relatively quite cos uh, spenny um, products. I, I don't know about uh, Avon. I'm sorry, I, I just don't know. A best skincare products for anti-aging pigmentation. And what is a good cleansing product without any harsh ingredients? Darling, the questions like that, Miss, um, Miss Ketula, go on to Trini London, go on to Tea Time. On the blog, I have my favorite cleansers. I have um, um, pigmentation. I have a whole thing on pigmentation and a whole thing on vitamin C. And I think from that, you'll get some answers to, um, to the questions. What do I think of Laura Mercier? I love her secret camouflage. I think it's the best concealer if you have very, very dark circles under eyes, otherwise I'd say I'll just a touch. Um, and I, I think it's great. I also love their, they have a lip balm I'm really loving, which I'm using at the moment, um, which is a rose one. Um, yes, they have great products. You know, she's a, I saw her at the CEW Awards and um, I was just so mesmerized. I'd never seen her in my life and she was cool. Upper lip lines, darling. I do microneedling, massaging, you know, every day massaging this. Don't let those lines 
get ingrained. So so go for go for continuously trying to you know just massage. Oh, I do this a lot every morning when I'm doing something. Um, please remind me how times to blink eyes when you hold your fingers above your eyelids. Um, I do 30 of that to keep the eyelids. This is my blinking thing the lady's asking. This is very good. If you have hooded eyes and you feel that you really want to help to get that skin tighter, I do this, this mad blinking. I do 30 of them in the morning. I usually do it first thing on the morning when I'm sitting on the loo. Um, anyway, darlings, I'm going to go now. Have a lovely day. Sorry I can't answer all your questions. I'll put this up on uh, Tea Time uh, just so you have the information of the products I used. Have a good day. Make the most of your day. Be your best, ladies.